What's going on there, guys? Good evening. The Earthmaster here on the live stream on this uh, beautiful Thursday evening, March 10th, 2022, about 6.42 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 2.9 out there in the area of the Mediterranean Sea, kind of looks like. 2.9 right there on the globe, the latest quake. Let's go ahead and check out this activity um, that's happening here, at least on the USGS map. As we look at the activity across the world here over the last 24 hours. Of course, remember, uh, only 4.0 and above here. But uh, we did see that earthquake over here. It looks like around the Cyprus area, uh, possibly around Crete. We'll check the EMSC model here in just a little bit. But uh, looking at the rest of the globe here, at least a map showing a little bit of uptick here along the Middle America Trench. Seeing some uh, activity kick up here over the last 24 hours. A couple fours, upper 4.9. Uh, just off the coast of Guatemala, down, uh, down through San Salvador and the El Salvador region, uh, right there in the middle of America Trench. There's definitely a swarm of activity kicking up here uh, over the day today. A little earthquake activity in South America as well, and one off in the Chile, uh, West Chile uh, Rise. Yes, <laughs> 4.6 way out there. And, uh, well, not a whole lot going on, right? So we need to go down here to the... Uh, microquake department to get a little bit better picture of things including an earthquake way out here just coming in to the North Carolina region looks like Sparta North Carolina 1.5 um, up into the, the mountains there close to the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains it looks like right in there at 1.5 five kilometers I highly doubt anyone felt this but surprisingly it looks like somebody did all right um, yeah a little bit of activity out there today uh, not a whole lot going on through the New Madrid zone or Texas or Oklahoma. A couple scattered earthquakes. Uh, but overall, most of the activity has been confined here to the West Coast area, Northern California, Southern California region. Um, within the last, uh, just got a 3.8 coming into the uh, Virgin Islands region, USGS. Uh, not picking up on it yet. Puerto Rico area, only about eight earthquakes here or so in the two range. We'll see that what they uh, report for the other earthquake that's coming in through the uh, EMSC map. But uh, a little bit of movement happening off the coast here, or at least northern California, south of Eureka, southern end of the Cascadia. That's, uh, there's, I keep saying it, but there's definitely some more earthquake activity out there not showing up here on the map. The latest tremor map showing uh, quite a bit of increase here into northern California once again. And that would explain all the subsequent back building of pressure here along the Cascadia. Uh, subduction zone, the southern end, uh, where these earthquakes are kind of happening right here. You can see these uh, somewhat deep earthquakes here, just inland. I mean, it's not inland, but uh, it's more west, right? So if you look at these maps here, the trimmer map, kind of uh, centered a uh, little bit inland. This activity that we're seeing here in Northern California looks more on the coast, right? But it's you got to remember, it's still down dip into the uh, Cascadia subduction zone here, if you will. Picture in your mind and an image where the plate is subducting underneath the North American plate here. And uh, that's kind of uh, about 22, 23 kilometers down. One of them, 11 kilometers. But uh, we're definitely seeing that back building of pressure due to the tremor activity uh, that we've been seeing here over the course of about a week now. And uh, that's a pretty good size number. <clears throat> 223 epicenters of tremor. And that's about the only area uh, up and down the board here when it comes to the Cascadia for now. Uh, looking at, uh, I want to pull up the last, uh, we can pull up the last week of activity here. Stand by for a second, and we'll see what we got for the number here. Looking at 1,056 epicenters, mostly, as you can see the line there, on the southern end of the Cascadia. A little bit of activity up here in the central part around the Oregon region. But uh, yeah, a lot, of, a, lot of, uh, a lot of trimmer activity kicking up here today and over the last week. So we'll watch that. And uh, watch for subsequent earthquake activity. Of course, you got to remember the tremor activity uh, is contributing and adding stress onto the uh, into the region of the Cascadia, the locked area, uh, which sits uh, just offshore, a sleeping giant that nobody seems to want to talk about, but it's out there. Uh, the rest of California, geyser activity kicking up pretty significantly today. Looks like about 40 earthquakes around the Cobb Mountain region. Got uh, some hydrothermal operations going on there with some raw sewage and making power and all that stuff. And man, mankind is pretty creative, let me tell you. 
anyway, moving on through that area, a little bit of activity south of the bay and uh, in Southern California, some movement up and down the board there as well. Nothing significant though to take note of, no major swarming in the Southern California region right now and just a little spotty activity throughout the Nevada area. And other than that, there's not a whole lot going on throughout the Pacific Northwest as far as uh, any of these volcanoes go. Uh, they are reporting a little bit of activity here on the Mount St. Helens map. But uh, we'll check out the PNSN network and I'll show you guys a little bit more activity than what's being reported on the uh, volcano there in Washington. So, looks like they reported one earthquake here, a point three. So, we got a point three at uh, UTC times going to be 05130. So, we'll check this out here, see what we got. All right, what have we got? Zero, zero, fifty-one, thirty is probably going to be fifty-one. That's probably going to be around here. It's probably going to be this blue spike. That's going to be for the point three. Um, so you can see these are not huge earthquakes, but there's a lot of them, and there's some smaller ones in there too. Probably point ones and whatnot. Uh, just over the last couple hours or so. And if you go back to the last 24 hours, uh, th this actually includes most of today because um, it ends at the 23, 20, uh, 23 UTC time. But uh, you can see there's definitely uh, some other earthquake activity, including this one here, which looks a little bit bigger than the 0.3, uh, not being reported. And uh, some other subsequent activity throughout the day uh, and... Um, yesterday as well showing some of these spikes so you can go back to the previous day and see quite a few more spikes in there and uh yeah that's a, that's a pretty good handful of earthquake activity not being reported out there in the uh, mount st helens area so we're, we're watching it we're keeping you updated and and you guys are definitely welcome to check it out yourself these maps are available online through the pnsn dot uh dot org website all sorts of stuff on here that they, they uh allow access to seismograph stations and whatnot check out uh, movement on any seismograph station throughout the uh, pacific northwest uh, and i believe we had a map here could have swore there's a map on here one of these show you a map a little bit uh, easier uh, view but uh moving on from there where there's still activity uh, not showing a whole lot here on the map in the pacific northwest at all did have one earthquake way up here in Canada, which uh, doesn't look like the U.S. Uh, yeah, they're not reporting that earthquake either. <clears throat> so we'll go over here to the Earthquake uh, Canada map and see what we got. Up here in the B.C. area, kind of kicked up earlier this afternoon. Uh, 4.3 magnitude earthquake at 5 kilometers near the uh, Fort St. John, B.C. area. And that uh, definitely above a 4.0 threshold, but then again, doo -doo -doo, pick and choose, right? Pick and choose agency. But, uh, you know, they're probably busy. They got a lot of earthquake activity. They have to kind of look over and whatnot. You know, maybe, who knows? They're just not as reliable as they used to. They used to be really quick when it comes to earthquake activity. But lately, it seems like this year something's happened. I don't know if there's a change in the... Uh, the CEO or whoever runs uh, the that agency there, supervisors, management, just kind of been slow on the uh, reporting lately. But uh, rest of Canada, that's the latest quake out there around the Fort St. John area. Uh, some of this activity throughout the day today on the northern end of the, end of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. But uh, yeah, looking at this map here, man, there's not a whole lot going on here from the USGS. Let's go ahead and check out the EMSC model here. The European Data Agency, these guys uh, do show quite a bit more in terms of uh, magnitudes and multitudes of quakes here. Um, let's see, they're, they're reporting that 4.2 up there. A little bit of activity coming in here just within, the looks like the last quake, 4.6 into the Kermadec Trench there. I don't believe that USGS reporting that one, right? No, look at that. Look at that, another one. Goodness, goodness gracious. Okay, that's all right. We're moving on. I gotta stop picking on those guys, right? They're just a little slow. If you guys need help, USGS, let me know. I'm 
I'm available 24-7, so if you guys need some help reporting these quakes, yeah, send me an email. All right, so what, let's go ahead and zoom in, and we'll check out the uh, the smaller quakes here throughout the region. This kind of drops down the magnitudes here to, uh, I think it's about, two. what is it, 2.5 and above? I believe, somewhere around there. It does show quite a few twos and some threes up and down the middle America trench here where the uh, swarming activity is kicking up. And also down into the uh, South America region. But they're also showing that 3.5, a little bit closer to the North Island, New Zealand area. And there's that 4.6, the latest quake there on this map. And uh, these two earthquakes here. I know the USGS was showing those fives into the Fiji area. Pretty deep earthquake movement there. Also way out here in, in the uh, Australia area, 3.1, western part of Australia. A little bit of activity around Japan as well. Uh, looks like a three, a couple fours kicking up there, a couple threes. USGS um, just showing the fours up here, but a little bit of increase in activity around the Japan Trench with those threes uh, lately. New Zealand, of course, right there. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, GeoNet server and see what these folks are reporting for data. Well, these guys are, wow, okay. Chris, maybe that 4.6 is a little bit further north than uh, what this agency is reporting, but their latest quake shows from yesterday, 2.6. Yeah, a couple days ago, wow. Okay, so I'm not gonna go down to all the, mag well, you can check all the magnitudes, but a lot of times these uh, just get little See, these guys are reporting the 4.6 here. Unnoticeable earthquake. I wonder if that's why they don't include it in the uh, in that section. That's a little bit odd. But uh, these guys showing that 4.6 uh, 48 minutes ago. Well north. And some other smaller quakes. So, so maybe, that's, maybe that's what they do. They just don't report the ones on the other maps that... Uh, that are just unnoticed out there, but just a little weird. Anyway, uh, so yeah, activity kicking up a little bit in the Kermadec Trench in New Zealand area as well. Uh, nothing again from the USGS on that matter. Let's check out the uh, Yellowstone map here where we, uh, I don't believe we have too much going on here either. Looks pretty quiet for now. Just got that eerie feeling. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty quiet. I'm not seeing anything major. This activity right here, some type of interference it looks like. Um, I don't believe that one's showing up on any of these other stations uh, in that time, in that timestamp. So if it was, then that'd be kind of scary. It could be some type of volcanic tremor or whatnot, but uh, it's definitely not showing up on any of these other stations at all. And uh, some solar weather activity to chat about here it looks like. Did have uh, <clears throat> uh, an impressive halo coronal mass ejection in one of these observed images here from the uh, uh, stereo head imagery. Looks like a filament uh, eruption near AR-2962 in the northwest quadrant was seen beginning around uh, 1845 UTC time. Uh, the latest update by the NOAA is reporting that they believe the CME, CME is to be Earth-directed. So that's kind of cool. Uh, looks like, uh, at least for now, things are green across the board, but that will change if that is indeed Earth directed. Uh, C flare 80% chance, in flare 20, X flare back down to 1 again. Uh, sunspot 2960 going away from us. Got these up here kind of looking a little impressive, so we'll see what these are uh, going to pop off in the coming days as it kind of uh, faces Earth a little bit uh, more square. 2960 is a huge one, but uh, nothing impressive to chat about there with the dynamics of this of this sunspot. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Um, hopefully, the subscribers here got a notification on this update video because live stream has gone down uh, multiple times today, and a computer automatically resetting. Uh, it's just, it seems like it comes in waves. It seems like when I start opening my mouth about certain things people punish me i don't i don't know it's really weird it's like oh yeah you want to talk about that okay Pulled the plug 
but uh, I don't know. It's weird. It's definitely weird, but I'm going to figure it out, and I definitely will get to the bottom of it and find out what's going on. So that's a fact. But, uh, yeah, so if you're watching this video, you probably were looking for it or you've seen it in the browse section because most, um, most of the uh, notifications that got sent out to the subscribers today uh, were taken up by the live streams that I had to re reboot. So it is what it is. We'll go from there. Have a good night, everyone, and stay safe. We will chat you guys another time. Peace out.